Nope, still don't have a metal plate in my head. What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? We're gonna do this really, really fast. Look at all the stuff we got. It's cool, bye. A few weeks ago, <laughs> we got to go to Tremendicon, and we're finally sitting down to go through our stuff because we've been so busy. It's convention season. It's going crazy, and we just wanted to share some of our stuff with you to kind of show you the cool things that you can find at conventions. You encourage people to go out and everything. Nice thing and... is, this has been like Christmas because I was like, oh, I forgot I got that. <laughs> <laughs> if your convention ever has like a guidebook or anything, I highly encourage you to get them. Generally, they'll have like a map of the grounds, a schedule, any like tournaments, game times. If there's a certain panel or something, it's a great way to kind of figure out where you need to be and at what time. Not all of them, but a lot of them will list maybe the vendors and where like their booth numbers just in case you didn't remember what they were called, but you remember where they were. So you can look at the map figure out the vendor, look them up. Something that I really like about Tremendicon, since they're very creator focused, they put short stories in here. So you can try to win a chance to have your short story published in the Tremendicon guidebook. So everyone who gets a guidebook, We'll be reading through your story. I expect to see your story in there next year. <laughs> I know. I always forget to like the last <laughs> minute. It's like a week after they've stopped taking submissions. And it's like, oh yeah. Colin Whoops. would be so disappointed. I after know. all the whiskeys and words. I know. <laughs> Everything is spicy. Everything. No worries of it melting. Our demon staff will prep you by hatefully removing your lower jaw with the rusted bumper from 76 beat up the bus. <laughs> Brimstone. We've the heat with the devilish streak. It's always gold as hell. <laughs> I bought some Tremendicon dice, little logo on it, so we can play with Tremendicon all year long. And gorgeous colors, by they the way. Are. Nice Thank pick. You. Nice Thank pick you. there from bricks and minifigs, some fun little bracelets, Lego bracelets, yes. in fact. Yep. I have those little weird dot thingies that you can build on the bracelets, so I plan to deck these out and make them all party like. <laughs> And we enjoy going to Bricks and Minifigs. Got some fun stuff from there, but that's a whole other story right there. One booth, this guy, this was his first convention, if I recall. Yeah, I think first big convention. He was really excited to be there. He had a bunch of fun comic book stuff, like especially like coasters and everything. And I needed to replace my coaster at work because I just have like the cheap ones that yeah. come with sticker mule. So I got this one of Spider Punk. I'm not even like versed in spider punk to be honest i thought he was buying it for me and i was like what a sweet gesture and then he's like no it's me and i was like oh no i i got me this i cool. love spider punk <laughs> hey i asked you if you wanted one and you didn't speak up well when you had it in your so, hand i thought that was for me so, so like, all no. you got was this little magnet i did he did buy me a cute little magnet of scarlet witch so this guy had so many amazing things, so many cool things to choose from. So you got something. I did in the get something. End. He was hard to choose from, though. He had a Actually, lot of stuff. Actually, yeah, yeah, like Star Wars, Marvel, DC. I mean, there's he some had even Disney so stuff in there. Different yeah, comics to cool pick stuff. from. Speaking of dice, or die, I guess in this case, it's a D20 fidget spinner, but it's also a D20 die. So you just kind of take it and you spin it, and then whatever the little arrow lands on. That's your number. That's what you've rolled. This is pretty neat. I, I like this. Uh, and you were fidgeting with it. Oh, all, all weekend long. long. I was just spinning the crap out of that thing. <laughs> and that goes perfect because you did pick up some new tabletop games. I did. No, not the, not the gecko. I, we're I was like, we're like yes, I got more fun fidgety things. But this one, turn for the worst. The premise sounds like a lot of fun. But just the artwork alone on these these things were just kind of... I think my favorite one is the pickle giving birth to other pickles from themselves by a guillotine. Get your buns warmed up for this hot dog building game. Players compete to acquire condiments, complete recipes, and score points in this rummy style card game. Don't worry if you find yourself in a pickle. There are plenty of rounds to earn you cheese. So have fun chilling with your friends. And we hope this game doesn't leave you sour. Kraut. The other game we picked up, this one was another one where the cards themselves were gorgeous. The gold emboss and everything on there was just really, really pretty. The premise sounded kind of fun, but the thing that really, really drew me to it is it's another one of those portable card games. So Shiner is an addictive, strategic micro card game from Wham Wham Games. Two okay. to three players battle for control of the hooch industry in this prohibition themed moonshine game. Mostly, though, it's a small card game, and it can play played with just two people, which is perfect for you and I. Yeah, because... Sometimes it's hard to get a bunch of other people to play, and so just the two of us are hanging out and like, let's play a quick game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, especially, uh, we used to go to a local coffee shop, 
and hang out there, yes. take uh, card games with us to play and everything, or whenever we go out on like a date night, mm -hmm. get some dinner before a movie or something, if we had a little extra time to kill, bust out a card game, it's perfect. I'm sorry, what, what game company was that again? Wham! Wham! <laughs> Double wham! Double whammy! <laughs> well, to go back to my lizard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're super excited to show I picked me up another magnetic lizard and I decided to get a different color. And if I ever see them, every time I plan to get a new one of these <laughs> things. I want the whole, anything that's metal in this house to be covered in these 3D printed lizards. Well, there you guys go. If you're watching, she just said she wants to get one every time she sees you. So make sure you're making lots of different colored magnetic lizards. Yeah, yeah, and send me your, your list so I know where you're going. <laughs> Speaking of uh, friends that we saw in Joplin, we picked up that great Spider-Gwen yes, comic holder. we were so upset we didn't get any more. We rectified that this time <laughs> around. We got just a great standard DC and Marvel one. Again, 3D printed. They're weighted, so they hold up that single issue really well, which is perfect whenever I do my B-roll shots mm -hmm. to try to show off some of the comics that we got. Got me another 3D printed Raptor here. Super cute. Just, just simple. I don't know. He's five bucks and I just like him. This reminds me of the game, the dinosaur that you control in the game when the internet goes down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jazz got us some new stickers. More magnets. So her Wonder Woman here is a hollow sticker. Looks fantastic. And then this one showcasing all of her chameleon attributes because... She's a shapeshifter. She's not a cosplayer. <laughs> She's good at what she does. I found a Tom. All right, it picked me up some action figures. I picked this chick up. I forgot what her name was, but I thought she looked cool. I forgot too. Yeah. She looks cool, so I got her. This was actually a figure that you have eyeballed for a while mm -hmm. too. And they had her for like a buck. So yeah, and we normally <laughs> see her still boxed and priced accordingly for being yeah. sealed in a box but since you just wanted her but she's got some long range. she does the next action figure i picked up is from captain algebra inspired math man at least i think that's what his name is he's from the bible man tv show or something like that i was like really bible man but yeah he's like my math man or something like that but i got it because i was like look captain algebra has an action figure <laughs> I totally think we need to paint this up like the Macho Man Randy Savage. But it's all just, over him, like front, back. And, and then yeah. just say that it's Captain Algebra. I know. <laughs> and the last one that I picked up from the booth, I got solely on the base, on the way she was standing. I was like, look, it's Rogue, and she's gone to Jazzercise. We got Rogue Jazzercise in here. A one and two, and squeeze those buns. We gotta look good. We gotta look good. Squeeze those buns. Two ladies, one math man. I like how this is adding up. Oh boy. <laughs> well, on the comic book front, I grabbed issues one, two, and four. Sadly, they did not have issue three. I know, we gotta find issue three now. Of The Tick. And if you saw our Tremendicon video, the writers were talking about how fun it was to write The Tick's origin story. This is his first outing as a superhero. And I went with the fun variant cover <laughs> He's got spoons instead of claws as he's mocking up Wolverine. So it wouldn't make a schnick noise. What would, what would that be? I guess just spoon. a spoon noise. But this is before he had his catchphrase, so no spoon in here. Technically, in the books we wrote, it's the Tick's first ever supervillain battle. Now, he couldn't do the whole spoon thing because that doesn't come... There's a moment where that happens. I grabbed this set of comics. It's issues one, two, and three of The Last Starfighter. Why would I grab these Because comics? it's one of my favorite movies. I <laughs> love that movie growing up. It is so much fun. And I was so glad that you found that. What was that Ernest Klein book that's basically just... Armada. The Last Starfighter. Yes. It's like, yeah. dude, where have I heard this story before? Right, you watched a movie once. Good job. <laughs> it wouldn't be a convention without plushies. And I got this really cute little Sonic the Hedgehog and Dr. Robotnik or Eggman, as, Sonic, as Sega likes to hear him called, to hang off of my bag or my purse or whatever, just because, you know. That was an unfortunate lombajong dom. That was an old scombi dim -blom. Someone stole my scone. I'm so glad you brought home a small plushie for a change. You're right, I'll work on that. I did grab a couple of the uh, Cinderella versus Zombies. 
This may be the same one. I think it's just like the variant covers. But it didn't it was bother a, us. Yeah, it was a really good deal, and it's like, no, that's fine. Zen's Cave does a lot of those variant covers anyway. The Grimm's are really bad about that. Oh. I love Grimm's, but they will have like 15 variant covers. It gets you into trouble. It does, because you think you found a new thing, and you realize, oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I got a super cool, nostalgic 80s, 90s, Saturday morning cartoon, whatever, anything you can think of. Just random nostalgic goodness. I, I'm, I'm so excited to use this thing. This has like all the nostalgia on it. Yeah, even, and it's not just video games. There's video games, cartoons, computers, food, like anything. Toys. That oh, weird that S weird that everyone S, drew. Yes. Man, I used to draw that like crazy. You did? I did. Oh, so much. I could still draw it too, to this day. You weirdo. I know. From the same booth, I got these adorable little, like, mushroom man, I guess. Little, little mushroom earrings. They were just cute. And these are wooden, These are right? wooden, yeah, wooden and drawn. So wooden, hand-drawn, hand-colored. More to add to my 3D printing, I got a lovely healing potion. It, it, it's not going to lie to me, is it? <laughs> but just a really cute 3D printed uh, mimic bottle for healing potion. Not sure exactly what I plan to put in there, but, you know, doesn't matter. It's yeah, cute. Yeah, well, whatever you do, it's not going to heal you like it's supposed to. It's probably going to make you pass out. I haven't decided if I'm going to paint that one yet. But I do think I'm going to paint this one, this cute little Ooh. dice holder. Just just this little creature that just holds your little dice for you. But I know I'm going to paint that little guy. I would ask Adam of Stranger Thingies to paint it for me, but he's already told us he doesn't like painting cute things. I don't know. He could come up with something very fun for this. Possibly. But speaking of Adam, I bought me this really cute little turtle. I think it's cute, so he can do cute things, I think from his booth as uh, Mikey eating some pizza. We do like to pick up some art prints, even though wall space is at a premium. Fortunately, this is a nice smaller one mm -hmm. of Pauline when she's belting out that tune from Super Mario Odyssey. It gets stuck Odyssey. in your head. Oh my gosh, I love that song. It is so great. And this was actually a freebie, but it's a lovely Akira Toriyama tribute piece. Yes. I loved the combination of items in here too. I mean, how perfect is that? We even added some new stickers to turn into magnets, as always. We got this great Pirate Shantae. We've got a pink-haired Linkle, because it's Lady, Lady Link. Link. And we had to leave with the rogue. Yes. She's too cute. Mm -hmm. And speaking of cute, there was something about this one that drew you Yeah, in. I don't know what it was. It was I don't know if it was because she's green, she's a monster, or she's just this busty bar wench with a sword. Like, what bar wench walks around with a sword? I guess maybe to cut the meat better for you? I'm not sure, but she's yeah, adorable. To make sure you're tipping her properly, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and to go along with Prince, so glad that this guy was back. We love this he artist. he does great yes. work. This drew my attention from across the room, but I love The Lost Boys. It's one of my favorite movies. And obviously I love David. He's so great. And then it's the fun scene where they're all hanging underneath the... Uh, the train tracks before they fall into oblivion. And this one, I'll go ahead and show it because I don't think he watches our videos nah, anyway. Nah, he doesn't and watch our videos at all. we may see him before this video goes up anyway. But we got this for our pal Chris, Telesplash Gaming. He's a huge Star Wars nerd, specifically loves Kylo the Sith Ren. and Kylo yes. Ren. So how great is this? Although, I mean, with his fan on me, I guess Kylo's gonna be on the top there. Yes. <laughs> one of your absolute favorite I makers. I love Grim Beards. I, I could spend my entire mortgage check in this man's booth and probably still not get everything I wanted. But I knew this time I wanted to get a journal. So I went in and I picked this little guy out. Cute little baby dragon in a cave. It's just really simple. I love the fact that Grim Beard actually has his own little notebook. That's kind of cute. But I, I, I wanted a journal. And then I also noticed he was having a sale on a slightly larger, not journal, but it's a card holder to hold like business cards or um, Magic the Gathering cards or just kind of any, any kind of card, Pokemon card, whatever. But I really liked it. It was just really cool. And it's got this really cool dragon eye on the side and then there's a dragon here on the side of it. But I thought this might come in handy for all the business cards we pick up at the conventions. This is so cool because, I mean, if you are a deck builder, player, tabletop, mm -hmm. trading card gamer, like how serious are you going to look when you roll up to the table 
Yes. And they're like, did you bring your deck? And you just pop like, that open. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. I regret not getting more of these because these, he had these on sale um, for the convention and I only picked up one like an idiot and I left regretting it. So I hope to see him in another convention and he still has some of these because, and for purchasing these, they gave me a free coaster. Well, see, you didn't need me to buy you a coaster from the other guy. You got a coaster in the end anyway. True. Even though yours looks really cool, mine smells better. Because <laughs> who doesn't love the smell of leather? All right. Now, the last thing, we are just going to kind of let the video roll and let you see what we got. But look at this stack of comics. And I'm pretty sure, didn't it wasn't it like 15 bucks, I think? If that, yeah. yeah. It was uh, and that was with your toys. So, yes. I mean... To give you an idea of how cheap it was. Which we had a lot of fun calling Co Comic Rob and uh, showing off that one. Be like, look how many we got. My guys, 50 cents bin diving. In, oh, I'm dead jealous. Like me and Sega went up to the car boot today and found nothing. Like, let me know what you guys found. I, I genuinely just want to know what you pulled out and uh, what, you, what you bought. It was the final day the vendor had their boxes set up, 50 cents a piece. Mm -hmm. And so I took advantage of the chance to go through and, well, I mean, you know, I had to grab another swimsuit issue. I usually actually had this one back in the day and I was surprised I hadn't found it again. To it's pick in it up really good condition to too. The rest were mostly just some really fun X-Men fillers. You know, I wanted to make sure I filled in some of the gaps of like our X-Men and Uncanny books. And there were a few like special ones as well. And this was the perfect time to do so when it's only 50 cents mm -hmm. an issue. I did grab another one of these, even though I have this one, I couldn't remember if our pal Bandana had grabbed this X-Men Wildcats crossover, yeah. which these are really, really great. It's Wednesday. I don't have any X-Men news to talk about other than we're getting really close to the uh, X-Men Comics 3 launches that I'm kind of stoked about and I will be following. Oh, uh, Grifter there and Gene have a little... Oh, oh a little hussy. I'll tell you what, Gene just gives it up to everyone, doesn't she? Hey, Tom. You're my buddy. I like Gambit. Archangel's my favorite. The thing I was most impressed with is the great condition these books are in. Yeah, even though they weren't bagged or boarded, they are in such good condition. It almost condition. looks like they just came off the press. Uh, we did grab a couple of Darkness, mostly just for the, the fantastic the covers. covers. They look <laughs> so cool. I mean, it's a cool storyline and everything anyway, but mm -hmm. th this time it was solely for the covers. I got this long shot issue. I had this one back in the day. Long ago, I got rid of all of my comics to focus on playing or collecting video games because at the time I was like, no one collects video games and I couldn't afford to collect both. So I went games and got rid of comics. And the last one I did want to specifically show up was issue one of Pirates of Dark Water. I loved this cartoon. It was so much fun. And the game is even a lot of fun too. So yeah, tons of comics. Some art. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, we did. And all across the gamut, you know, the, the leather items that you got, you got some 3D printed stuff. My new obsession apparently is 3D printed you stuff. You even found some plushies, action figures. We got more tabletop games. Everything we got was very highly useful, everyone. So just, just remember that. It really goes to show there's generally something for everyone yeah. when you go to a convention. So whenever you hear anything about a convention, if it's a gaming one, if it's a comic con, don't think creative it's just generally. going to be those things. Yeah. But yeah, when it's a creative one, you're going to see a lot of like really unique items. So make sure you go out, you support your local conventions, and leave some comments you're gonna down below. You're going to find some neat stuff in these things. Guys. Yeah, about the neat stuff we found. Let, let, let us know what what are you reading these days? Did you go to Tremendicon and see something that I probably should have got? Don't tell her. Don't. Tell me for next year. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. I'm going to go play with my journals now. This, it's like Christmas. Like, look at all these things I forgot about. Mic check, Tom. Mic check. <laughs> Mic check, Lacey. Mic check. I don't know how to play with journals, but I want to play with them. My lunch was like one little small pepper. And probably a dozen lemon heads that come in the box of the tiny ones. A pepper? Like the sweet pepper. What sweet pepper? That we buy in the bag from the grocery store and it's like mixed. What? All right, stop that. Ready? Yeah. Let's go fast. This little action figure has 
ab uh, multiplication and subtraction and any kind of math all over him. No, he doesn't. And there's they're just minuses. And I got these two adorable little Captain Captain Eggman. What the hell? Paul, what are you doing? You knocking stuff over? I'll knock you over. Knock your block off. <laughs>